Hey guys, this is Miko from ML Sound Lab, and today we'll be looking at the impedance and cut controls of Miko, the next generation cabinet simulator. Let's check it out. So here we are in Miko, and I kind of have this mic up going on that I really like. So let's have a listen. It's a diesel uh, with a condenser, pretty much uh, center on the speaker, not completely. And the other microphone is on the Mega 4x12 new, and it's a 57 position. So let's have a listen to what this sounds like. So already it's a pretty good sound to start out with. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that tone, but I'll use this to demonstrate what you can do with the impedance and cut section of Miko. This is kind of simulating the interaction between a real amplifier and a cabinet and you will get low resonance and high resonance, meaning that you end up with essentially a mid-scoop. So you can think of this section as adding that tube amp color to your preamp or uh, your modeler that may not be modeling this or you can just think of this as kind of a post EQ that works really realistically and will sound really good. What you can now do is choose from three different modes or have impedance off. So the US 4x12 is based on an American 4x12 cabinet being driven by an American amplifier. The UK 4x12 is based on a UK made 4x12 cabinet being driven by a UK tube amplifier and a combo is based on an American combo amplifier. And these are all simulating the different impedance between these amplifiers and speaker cabinets. So if you look at the graphs and look at what's happening with the low resonance for the combo it's adding that uber low end and if you want more sustain in your low end and tones this is the way you can get it. With the UK 4x12 you're adding that 125 Hertz thing which happens many times when you're using these amplifiers so you get more of that low end oomph when you're kind of palm muting and with the US as is to be expected you get even more of that so that's kind of a really tight kind of low end thing that you can get with the low resonance in the US 4x12 mode. With the high resonance what you get is a kind of a really nice sounding presence boost and it's different based on which of these modes you're using it's just realistic sounding. So if you have these resonance settings at 100% it's exactly what I measured from the real amplifiers. So for example, if you're using like a preamp pedal and you want to have more of a tube amp sound to it, you can use the uh, US 4x12 mode to make it sound more like it was being driven by a US tube amplifier or UK amplifier or an American combo. Let's start with having everything on zero and listen to the same mix with uh, impedance off and then I'll start adding it in. I'll start with the US mode. So when you just add more low resonance you will get kind of that deep scoop in the low mids and get this kind of uh, oomphy low end going on. And the UK mode is similar, but it's not that scooped, so you still retain the mid frequencies. And the combo resonance is even more in the low end, very low sub content, which doesn't necessarily change your tone all that much. Uh, with the high resonance, however, what you get is a lot of brightness with the US mode. With the UK mode, it's not that drastic. And with the combo mode, it's almost just adding more presence and high end to your sound. So, how you would go about using these 
as a tool if you're not using a preamp pedal would be just to choose the different kind of impedance that you want to work with. Personally I'm more of a US guy so I'm going to start with that and let me just start adding the low end in and let's just see where I leave the settings. So I use it in a very subtle way to add a little bit more of that tube amp palm mute character where you get kind of a oomph from the low end and then I just use the high resonance control to balance the tone. Also in this right hand corner we have cuts and with cuts you can add low cut and high cut so it's kind of a high pass low pass EQ thing. Uh, you can choose to have a uh, different profile for the cuts, a really steep one, a hard one or a soft one. I personally prefer to have a really steep uh, curve so I'm not changing the tone much. I'm just trying to limit the low end to give more space for bass and maybe get rid of that high end sizzle if there's too much of that. So uh, let's have a listen. Okay, so I personally felt like the low end was just right, I don't have to mess with it, so I didn't use the low cut. Uh, I added some high cut to get rid of just a little bit of that sizzle going on. But generally speaking, uh, the modeling in Miko is so good that you don't really have to use these settings. These uh, settings are more about compensating for if your source has some problems you can fix it in here but if your source is really good meaning that if you're using something like a reactive load with a real tube amp or if you're using a really good modeler like a Fractal XFX, a Helix or a Kemper or something like that uh, you may not really need to use impedance and cut at all because they kind of model this and you can just trust the Miko but if you're using something like a preamp pedal or an older modeler that you can give more life to with Miko, then these functions are really usable and you can get so much more out of those pedals. Okay, that's all about the impedance sections right now. Thank you for watching the video and stay tuned and subscribe to see the next video tutorial. Cheers guys, bye.